One of my dreams for this ministry early on, and it continues, is diversity. I wanted people that were not all the same. So many times we get into one church and we want everybody to think like us. And we want to convert them to our way of thinking. This ministry is radically different from that. We have Baptists, we have Methodists, we have Episcopalians, Catholics, Jewish, every religion almost on the earth coming together and holding hands in God's love. We may not all agree on every individual point, but the point is that we come together, and that is (laughs) under the banner of God under the banner of love, under the banner of, of wanting the best for our fellow human being, even if they're not exactly identical to us. If all people were exactly alike, all looking alike, eating the same foods, living in the same manner, the lack of variety would make the world quite lackluster. Thank God for diversity. As we look at scenery outside, we see diversity. It's one of the joys of of travel is seeing different things and different scenes in front of our eyes. Give thanks today that there is diversity in your world and that your life is is blessed with multitudes of interesting scenes and, more important than that, interesting individuals. And honor diversity. Give thanks to God for the blessing of your own individuality. How special and unique you are. And give thanks to God for the individuality of others. And in everyday life, honor, respect, and nourish all the the differences of people in your life. Being open and being receptive to them, their uniqueness and conditions, their thoughts and their insight. Each day, you let your words and actions be a reflection not of something that divides, but something that connects us, of peace, love, joy. And your life will be filled with many blessings, most of all of the unique individuals that make up the friendship, wonderful cornucopia that's happening in your new life.